It is Friday the 13th. Hello, kia ora. I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us for our weekend weather update. The outlook for next week. We've also got the Christmas Day forecast and a 15-day rainfall outlook. So a jam-packed update. Let's get into the forecast and having a look at how the situation will be at the end of Friday, or at least at the end of the afternoon. Low pressure around the country, especially around the Chatham Islands, and this big storm directly south of New Zealand. High pressure is in the brighter shading, so around the subtropics, keeping low pressure zones to our north away from us for now. But there is a bit of a change coming over the next week or so. More low pressure around the north of the country. Uh, and we do see some high pressure coming into the south. So let's make sense of that. Here we are, 1 p.m. on Saturday. Massive high pressure zone well east of New Zealand. It is picking up this subtropical airflow, bringing it around and driving it in as a windy west to northwesterly. Canterbury, Marlborough, Wellington, southern wider upper. Windy conditions coming through on Saturday yet again. And re remember that fire risk is extreme in some areas. So hot and windy for some of these places along the east. Temperatures could get back up to 30 degrees. Norwester, summertime, subtropical airflow. Kind of all the right ingredients to make it a hot day in the east if the sun's out. Might be a bit cloudy in the western sides though. And we've got this rain on the west coast with some heavy falls. Going through to Sunday, that rain falls apart on the west coast. We've got high pressure just out to the east here. Easterly or northeasterly winds for much of Canterbury, or at least on the coastal sides down to Dunedin. Further upwards, it's a westerly flow around parts of the North Island. And a few showers just around the far north, brushing the far north. Unlikely to be a major event, keep an eye on it, but uh, it does look mainly dry. So next week, things get a little more interesting next week because there is this high pressure zone coming in towards the south of the country. Been a while since we've had one of those. Now it drives in with it a southerly change and that produces these showers. And because we are at that warmer time of the year, colder southerly, hot afternoon, that's gonna produce some heavy showers on Monday afternoon and evening. So this is four o'clock on Monday. Doesn't show you sort of seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock in the evening. As we expect that southerly to move up into Hawke's Bay, there might be some heavy falls and thunderstorms as it does that. Not locked in just yet this far out, but it's certainly looking uh, likely that we'll see some heavy showers moving up there. And also around Northland, we've got this offshore wet system. It doesn't look as though it's going to come in and affect many places, but it's still worth keeping an eye on very close to us. And the other day it was showing that low right over the top of the North Island producing a fair bit of rain. So it is still a bit borderline, but it does look as though the high is going to win and push that whole system north Northwards, helping it to uh, make friends with that subtropical low. And we do still see a windy southeasterly around the North Island. That makes it sunnier and hotter uh, once you're past the Hawke's Bay Ranges, past Central Plateau. Still a few showers in the east here. Won't be very much. They're, they're clearing away. But it will be a little bit cooler after the hot days we've seen or are about to see over the weekend. High pressure over the South Island keeps things dry. And then we get to the middle of next week. And as that high drifts away, back come the northerly winds. They could be northeasterlies for some areas. And then later on, we've got a pulse of northwesterlies coming out of Australia. But Wednesday for now looks to be a dry day, but it is, there's a lot of moving parts. So wind directions are changing as we go through the next week or so. And look at this on Thursday, bigger picture. You can see those lows have kind of merged to the north here, very tropical sort of airflow out east of us. It's not really directly over us though. And then we've got this other low pressure zone. So it's still looking mostly dry on Thursday around the country. And again, varying wind flows. And if this map's correct, because it is still a whole week away, You've got these easterlies coming into Canterbury, small low off the coast of Hawke's Bay and Gisborne. That might drive in some wet weather, but a low like that where it's split apart and it's still a week away, you know, the computer modeling might kind of merge it together between now and then. But it shows you there is this sort of pool of low pressure around New Zealand and northwards as we get towards the end of next week. So before the Christmas forecast, Let's have a look at the 15 day rainfall. It's a pretty quick animation, but you'll get the idea of most of the weather is coming from our west to the east. And that is still a critical component of our forecast. It is still a westerly driven weather pattern, despite those lows forming to our north and you know, a bit of a hint of La Nina in the atmosphere, but not officially with us. So what you see here is the rain builds up on the west coast, where you're still looking to get over 150 millimeters, maybe 200 millimeters through Westland between now and 
where does this go through till the uh, 28th of December till midnight on the 28th of December technically 1am actually on on uh, the 29th so heavier falls on the west coast elsewhere not a huge amount some of these areas in the east only getting 20 millimeters over the next two weeks that's not very much uh, I think some of these blobs of sort of orange and red shading are more to do with heavy downpours that are moving around and the green shaded areas which you see around Northland and Auckland uh, maybe a little bit here between Wairoa and Gisborne and maybe just around Kaikoura you're actually not seeing very much in the way of rain that might only be 10 to 15 millimeters over two weeks so not a huge amount of rain that is great if you're going away on holiday but keep in mind with these varying wind flows and directions it does mean that uh, the forecasts are going to be a bit messy as we go through the next couple of weeks it's not just going to be perfectly settled for the next two weeks that's for sure it's still a very messy pattern here we are Christmas day updating this for you again a little bit has changed since our update yesterday this stormy system around the Chatham Islands was not really there yesterday it was a weaker system now I've been looking at these Christmas day forecasts all week we've only been sharing them with you for the last two days what I've noticed over the last uh, four or five days high pressure does seem to be parked in the Tasman Sea and there does appear to be a lot of low pressure just south of New Zealand which may not be placed like this by the time we reach Christmas Day it might be directly south of Southland or even further away from us or it could potentially be over parts of the country um, more of the mainland than what you see here so if this is an accurate map and it's not yet because we've still got a few more days to kind of lock this in you see showers and cloud along the western side of the North Island possibly the sun coming out on the west coast though dry skies around Southland and Otago you'll be happy about that and uh, a, a generally a south to southwesterly flow around the country most places look dry but uh, that's a bit of an unsettled forecast so we'll still have to wait and see but these big storms down in the southern ocean are really driving our weather at the moment the highs are actually quite weak compared to those storms at the moment so we may still have to wait a couple more weeks before we get into a more traditional summer pattern or maybe it will stay unsettled we'll have more details about what January is looking like at the end of this month we'll have a special two-week update then for you uh, sort of like a mini climate watch we'll just sort of have a look and see what's going on uh, with the trends around our part of the world anyway that is all from me on this uh, Friday the 13th hope you have a great day and evening and a great weekend and we'll see you again on Monday